My favourite dance is the jig and my second is the blue bonnet. your right foot for um, one part and then you go into your left foot and then you go into your right foot again and then you turn around um, the right and then you do it on your left foot. Then you do toe and heel, toe and heel, toe and heel, toe and heel, then you do a turn. And the last one is just um, doing the same thing doing the same thing on your right three. foot for three times and then the same thing on your left foot for three times and then and you how turn you around. close you just go like, so after you've done the turn you just go like that, that then you bow like that I feel like it's mainly about the confidence because if you could be the best dancer in the world and have like no confidence and it would like put you off because you wouldn't be like, go push to your fullness. Sometimes you like forget about it and go in your own world, but then other times like, you're really nervous to do it. Thank you. 
and then five just steps. change and then a turn. And then a turn and a do that again. Second step then tends to be back steps yeah. or toe heels. And then there's, shakes. Yeah, third step is like there's a whole bunch of different ones you can do. I feel it's similar to some sports, like some dancers dance things like ballet, but it is quite different, but in a good way. I like it. And I, th I think um, it's, it's cool. you can do Highland dancing and still do any other sport. It was my mum who taught me, who told, told me about dancing and I went to it. And then my dance teacher, Claire, was te teaching me. And my mum usually helped me at home as well. Um, and my dad. I just loved um, the exercise, seeing the friends. I just loved the dancing in general. It's, it's fun and, and um, it, it gives you lots of good skills. <laughs> 